Hi there, I'm Wolfie Rankin and welcome to Wolfie's Stuff. Well, something quite odd has happened to me in the uh, last few months or so. If I think, I think if I had gone into a fortune teller's tent and she had told me that, that in 2014 I would be collecting vinyl records, I would have said, are you mad? Um, because I stopped collecting vinyl records around about 1990 when I escaped from radio. <laughs> I didn't need them anymore. And, uh, well, you know, CD singles didn't actually start coming out till a lot later. So I, I suppose I was buying singles for a little while. And I was always a singles buyer. That was me because my theory was because I only got about five bucks pocket money a week at the time when I was a teenager. Um, I could get songs, specific songs, that I really liked. So I was a songs person more than a group person. So, yeah, I kind of started to like groups later on, but I would probably not buy an album that much because I might have two songs on it that I really liked and the rest, uh, maybe not so much. But you can get lucky, can't you? You can get that particular album that's got everything on it that you like. It can happen, but it's very rare. Anyway, I'm not just going to deal with vinyl here. I'm going to deal with, well, stuff. I mean, there's other things that I've been collecting recently which have been really rather interesting. And maybe some of you don't know about them, so I'm going to fill you in. Uh, but it's mostly going to be about my vinyl collection because that's what I'm into at the moment. So, I'm going to start off with my obsession. I absolutely love this woman. Um, I can't get enough of her. She is, she just gets me right here. And she's Irish. I mean, how could you not love an Irish lass? Beautiful. Um, here is Kate Bush, Hounds of Love, which is my ultimate album. I just adore this album. Now, what is great about it is that, sure, you know, when this came out in 1985, it had all the hit songs on it. Running Up That Hill, which was a big hit at the time, uh, and uh, Cloud Busting, which was another one. And the, the video for that is just epic, really beautiful. I love it. Um, and if you've seen the video, by the way, the the machine that they use in that is made by H.R. Giga, if that's how you say it properly. And he designed uh, the Alien from the movie Alien and Aliens. So, um, so if it looks slightly familiar, that's why. But, you know, it's kind of lacking all the penises and bums and things like that. Giga is quite, you know, interested in, which is kind of odd. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... Anyway, there's that, and you know, I've, I've got, I've got this as well, which I think uh, a lot of Kate Bush fans would have. It's that's just a compilation. Oh, there's the actual machine that I was talking about on the back there. That was pretty incredible. An amazing video too. Her videos are awesome. But I was going to talk about that um, because I found something really sweet. Really sweet. And if you're a Kate Bush fan, you might want this too. And you can still get it. I think you can still get it. Maybe. One had to have this. One had to have it. It's Kate Bush again. Hounds of Love. And this time, it's on vinyl. So what, you might say. So what? Oh, by the way, I've got these new things. I used to, I always put covers, plastic covers on my thingamajigs, okay? So, I mean, they're on the, um, you might notice that they're actually on the CDs as well, because CDs get pretty badly scratched up. So, it's good to have them on CDs. I've got them on my singles as well. I always have covers. Uh, and also, you know, I'm fastidious with my record collection. Uh, nobody touches my records they can do anything they want but if they touch my records that's it uh, dad was a bit like that with his car but with me it's records now um 
I'm just going to remove this. This is this is actually a sealed one, and the idea is to keep bugs out and vermin of different kinds. Don't know whether it would work, but now this is a, a, a gate fold. I'm going to go through some of the terms too, because some of you might be unfamiliar with record terms. So. Um, this is on 180 gram vinyl for a start. 180 gram is heavier vinyl than usual vinyl. I think, I think it's 160 from memory. Uh, you can also get 200 weight, which is uh, even thicker. And the idea is that it lays flatter on the turntable and apparently it sounds better because of that. It doesn't have that wobble. You know when you play a normal record and it kind of wobbles and the little stylus is bobbing over the record? Well, these apparently don't do that. They lay super flat, which is a, a good thing, apparently. I don't know if that's true, but audio files are a little bit queer. That's the thing. Now, yeah, gatefold thing. So it opens up like this, and it's got all the songs listed in there it's absolutely gorgeous uh, yeah Kate Bush fans must have a copy of this it's brilliant now the record itself is unusual um, I'll just get it out if you have a look at that it's kind of like a, a purpley marbled thing it's quite an unusual color it's really quite pretty. There was another edition of this and it was kind of white and pink. Like it was kind of like strawberry, strawberries and cream color. If you can imagine that, it's sort of mottled. Now that kind of looks dirty. It sort of comes across as looking really dusty. But no, that's the actual vinyl. That's the, the pattern in the vinyl. This record is absolutely, absolutely clean. Trust me on that. It's absolutely clean. But that, that's, that's how it looks, okay? It's just got that lovely purpley, very subtle color. It almost looks like a, 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 a normal record. And then you kind of look at it and go, oh, oh, hang on. It's actually dyed that way. So I don't think it's see-through. It's not transparent. Some of these colored ones, most of these colored ones are transparent, but this is not. So, so yes, that's that. Always put your records back in their covers. If you don't, Wolfie will come over and eat you. And you know those people who make bowls and things out of records? They go to a, a, an, an op shop and they get these second-hand records and they make them into bowls. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, by the way, I, I cut this off. Maybe I shouldn't have, but the packet was such that I couldn't uh, just just show you that. Uh, if there it goes. Okay. Now there's a shop that I get these from in in the UK, and it's called What Records. What records are very good. Um, I'm going to recommend them because uh, they they do send you records with a lot of due care. Some of the packages that you get are not as as nice as they really ought to be. I mean, not as heavy. And what happens is the postie comes along, and drops your parcel, drops the record on the ground. The corner of your package of your uh, cover gets kind of bent and it doesn't look as nice. And that's happened to me once, unfortunately, with a signed one too. It was a, a signed one and a red coloured one. And I'll show you that one later. Uh, so I was a, a little bit disappointed when that happened. It could have been because I've had rough treatment from the band as well. But um, I think it probably had more rough treatment from the post, unfortunately. Now, Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Excuse moi while I'm at the back here. Picking up records. Uh, another record of hers came out, which is this one. 
Okay. Now, it's got a whole lot of little fishmen running all over it, as you can see. And it's, it's, see if we can get the light right. So you can read it. There you go. Just trying to, there you go. So, you can see what it is. And that came out because of, it was, it was performed at the Olympics. So, yeah. So, we can, I'm going to pull it out of its pack and just give you... All the records I've noticed uh, over the last few days have started sweating. Because it's been... Well, I've been sweating too. It's been so hot here in Oz. And just flip it over and you can see that there's that. And down the bottom it says there's fish people. Okay. And that's her label. So I was sort of wondering about this. And, and what I did too was, I mean, you've got to get these records when they're announced. Otherwise they sell out. And what happens is people sell them for about triple their price on eBay. And um, if you want them then, you're going to have to pay through the teeth to get them. Which is one reason I'm making this video because I know a lot of um, audio, uh, vinyl collectors are starting to make videos like this and show what they've got. And I think that's a good idea because maybe I can get in touch with other vinyl collectors and maybe we can help each other out with things. And I think that would be a good, a good thing. Now, now, I'm not finished with Kate Bush, uh, but I am today, but not completely over with Kate Bush. There will be other stuff that I've got to show you uh, later on. Now, I've got two, two discs here. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I'm just trying to get used to holding... Uh, is it, yeah, that's the one. Okay. King Missile Detachable Penis. Okay, I, I think you know about that. But can, can you see the... I'm actually talking about the plastic cover. Can you see how it's kind of gone all bubbly? And the Utah Saints one is also... No. No, that one hasn't. Sorry. Don't know why that... Don't know why I held that one up. Okay. King Missile. Detachable penis. Um, very funny song. And the other one, uh, I'm sorry, on the other side is, 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 is quite a funny... I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know if that's the um, tackling question or not. But there is a sort of a bubbly effect on, on this plastic, which I can't sort of... I think you've seen it. There, there we go. Okay, that's good enough. And you know what the culprit is? I've seen it on a few of my covers, and the culprit is this. <laughs> Thank you, Pet Shop Boys. Thank you, Pet Shop Boys. See that bubbly weird cover. This is a really kind of hard to come by release. Uh, it's, it's called Very Relentless. So it's actually got Very in it and it's got another bonus disc called Relentless. And it opens up like that. And I really should have it in a plastic thing of its own but I don't think it fits into anything. I think that's upside down. I think it is. He goes like that. There, there he is. Okay. And, yeah, his friend is on the other side. <laughs> uh, it, it's, an, it's an interesting thing. I don't know why. It reminds me of condoms. Um, I think I saw a condom that looked like that when I was a kid. It was all sort of bubbly like that. And I thought that's what they were like after that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 